You've got to tune to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters down in the KEXP studios with Survival Knife. Super excited to hear what you got. Want to start us off with some music? You got it. <laughs> Come 
Righteous Survival Knife live on KEXP. That's right, Meg is fanning herself over there. You are working hard. That was awesome. Thank you all so much for coming in today. Thank, Thank you, you for you. having us. Yeah. Co coming all the way up from Olympia for this special radio show. And uh, Justin uh, or Jatro, that's your radio uh, persona. Radio persona. <laughs> I was so excited to see that you had a single come out last year on Sub Pop, and uh, now you have Loose Power. The full length. I, I'm a longtime fan of your band from the '90s, Unwound. Oh, and there's the. We have vinyl of Survival Knife. Where can folks get that? At your favorite record store. Excellent. Hopefully, it's available now. Um, I know that um, Justin. I know that you and Brand have known each other for a long time, from your days going back 20 plus years playing in Unwound together. But and, how did and uh, Little League Soccer. Oh, and okay, <laughs> Little League Soccer. So it's that. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your is that where your musical musical uh, journey began. Our first collaboration was yeah. in uh, soccer practice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, "I like the way you kick that ball." Yeah, no, no, it was <laughs> the, we were singing drum? the theme song to uh, some kind of fruit granola bar commercial, yeah, something probably. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, do you want to perform? No, it? Not really. Okay. <laughs> and that beautiful voice. Uh, <laughs> Brought us where we are today with Survival Knife. And uh, how did uh, Meg and Chris get, get uh, wrapped up in, in this craziness? Well, we're all in Olympia. <laughs> and Saw each other down the street. And we, yeah. There's eight people in Olympia, <laughs> and four of them can play instruments. Yeah. Me, and, me and Meg and Chris like, collaborated on a bunch of things, like uh, maybe like, I don't know, three, four. Cover bands. A lot longer than that, uh, maybe five years ago or something like that, yeah. Stuff that was just kind of like stuff we were doing for the Capitol Theater mm -hmm. um, every year. And then um, we started kind of 
maybe wanted to do it a little bit more seriously like a band and then I called Justin and then he kind of he came out of hiding and it happened it just kind of yeah coalesced in that way it sounds great you might not be on a ton of listeners radar for, but you've been doing this for a few years and you've actually toured and played with quite a quite a few folks sure so one yeah. of the reasons you sound so great together. Uh, <laughs> um, and speaking of the Capitol Theater, you have a show there coming up on September 19th with Mike Watt. We do. And uh, any plans for more shows? Anybody in here motivated uh, book shows? <laughs> um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, <clears throat> before that, probably not. But uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, working on a east, east of the Continental Divide trip in November. So in the planning stages right now. So. Today we're reminiscing with our listeners all day long about Seattle Center memories because next year we're actually going to move the station over to Seattle Center. We're going to be over uh -huh. near the Vera Project. And I asked you uh, earlier if you all had any Seattle Center memories. And Justin, I love that you said that you grew up here. You've been here your whole life. You have no music memories at the Seattle Center, only memories of the science center, which is adorable. Yeah, just the science center. And, yeah. Well, it's a great... You touch that thing and your hair would go up, you know? Well, actually, now that I think of it, though, I went to Bumper Shoot, you know, too, and I, I remember, I think, uh, might have been 1986, I saw the Fastbacks at Bumper Shoot, and that was a... That a was a... Pivotal moment. A pivotal moment for my teenage <laughs> self. Chris, you did actually have a, bumper, or a uh, Seattle Center memory from the Mural Amphitheater. Can you share? My honey opening for Aldo Nova. Very nice. I actually saw Aldo Nova open for a heart in oh. the Coliseum uh, one New Year's Eve. Ah. So we can bond over that yeah. a little bit later. Awesome. Aldo Nova was in a skin tight leopard <laughs> jumps, uh, skin suit, not even a jumpsuit, one piece. <laughs> it was kind of hard to, to wash hard after that. Where do you go after Aldo Nova in a leopard suit? Ah, uh, the Seattle Center memories. Well, maybe you can come play in our new home, and then you'll have musical memories of Seattle that. Center. Um, Survival Knife is here live in the KEXP studios with more music. Take it away. All right.
done loose power the title track from the debut album from survival knife they'll be playing in their hometown at the capitol theater on september 19th with mike watt so great to have you live in studio thank you so much thank again you. for coming thank up. you thank you for having us that sounded great it's survival knife live on kexp seattle discover new music at listener powered kexp.org